work. We are making traditional kimchi today. We are going to be using my mother-in-law's secret ingredient, but I can't tell you guys what the secret is, so I'm gonna tell you guys a substitute to use. <laughs> Next, we need to get the leaves wet. Shake off the excess water. Now we wanna rub salt in between each of the leaves. This is what it looks like once it's done being salted. We're gonna leave this to sit for two hours, flipping it every 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to prep the rest of our ingredients. While we wait for the kimchi to sit, we're gonna make our paste. This is two cups of Oma's secret juice. You're going to use water. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of rice flour. We're gonna cook this for about 10 minutes or so. It's gonna start to get thicker than it's thicker. It's gonna start getting thick. Once this starts to bubble, we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar. We're gonna mix this and cook this for another minute. After one minute of adding our sugar in, we're going to leave this to completely cool down. It's been two hours. Now I'm going to thoroughly rinse my cabbage under cold water. Make sure to tap off any excess water. Now we need to make our kimchi paste with some garlic, ginger, onion puree or minced onion, fish sauce, a quarter cup of salted shrimp. This is the one I'm using. You can do this with a knife and cutting board. I'm not doing that because I didn't want to stink it up. Then we're going to add our salted shrimp into our mixture. Korean red pepper flakes. Yo, my baby's fine. And then we're gonna add a mix of carrots, radish, and scallion. Mama, yeah, baby. Mommy's making food. Look at me. Without you, yep. Remember this paste? We're gonna add it in. Hmm. I could sure use my other hand, Bubba's. Now mix this up. This is what our paste is going to look like. This is my napa cabbage. I'm gonna open up each leaf, grab some paste, and just rub it all in here. Lift up the next one and repeat. Now we're gonna add our cabbage into this kimchi container. Normally this would sit right on top and I would push this all the way down and let all the air come out. But since this is too big, I think, should I still try it? Yeah, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> that didn't do anything. Wishful thinking. I just have to do that lid next time after we eat some. I'm gonna leave this out at room temperature for 24 hours and then into the fridge. 